So let's retouch this. I'm going to drop out the background by hitting the, um, I use the um, white balance selector, or uh, what is it called? What is this thing called? The quick selection tool, that's right. Okay, selected inverse, and I'm going to command J. Now these images are floating in space. Watch, this now is a floating, oops, give me it on the right layer. Floating design. This is what I mean by flatten up. Okay, if we had all these images, if we just hand dropped them in Photoshop, I would flatten them all together, and now watch what I can do. Everything happens at the same time. So I can add a stroke to everything if I forgot to do it in, in Fundy's software. I'm going to go three pixels on the inside, push OK, and it is going to be on everything. I'll show you. See, there it is. There's a black stroke, black key line around everything. All right, now let's consider this a retouch unit. It's just like before, we're doing single image Photoshop. This is now multiple image Photoshop, but it's the same darn thing. It's just another retouch unit. Single image retouch unit, multiple image retouch unit. So let's put it, first of all, bring our attention towards the center. Oh, but there's one major difference. We don't have to be as concerned because they're viewed smaller, okay? So I put a marquee around everything and I'm gonna feather, select modify feather. Let's say, um, I don't know what the resolution of this, I'm gonna do 200 pixels, 200 pixels. Yeah, that looks good. And I'm gonna select the inverse of it, so I'm selecting the outside, I'm gonna darken the outside, bringing our attention towards the center. Okay, and this is a levels adjustment, see? See, it's happening for both the details and for the beautiful portrait of our bride. Okay, let's do a couple things. I showed you liquify earlier. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lean up her, her arm a little bit. Her arm seems to be a big distraction to me at the moment. That's what I see. Um, and so I'm going to create a new layer of those images by itself. I'm gonna go filter, liquify. And then we're just quickly make a quick adjustment. And this is my fault. I didn't pose her arm properly in this image. So I will, I am responsible. This is how I see everything I do. I am responsible because it's my fault. All right, I will make an adjustment. I didn't properly use the light. I didn't properly pose. Now I have countered for my mistake. Isn't that a good way of looking at it? See how important that is? She looks much better now, and my, my eye doesn't go right to her arm. In this case, it's bright light right in it. So now let's do the techniques that we talked about. Let's do select color range. We're just gonna grab our skin. This is close enough that it needs skin retouching. I'm gonna hold down shift, click around. It's going to grab all those color tones. I'm gonna push okay. And it grabbed most of it. Let's go, I'm gonna add a little more. Select color range. I didn't get the highlights. No, I got it. Select color range. Okay. Now I'm gonna hit Command J or New Layer via Copy. And, and this is what I'm looking at right there. This is the area I'm about to blur. I'm gonna turn off the stroke because that sure made her look like she has leprosy, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, turn off the stroke, turn off the effects for that duplicate layer, and off we go. And I'm gonna blur that letter, fil layer, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, we went past the level that we were comfortable, didn't we? It's perfect. We'll do a really soft brush, and I'm going to get a layer mask there on that blurred layer, and I'm gonna blur away the areas I do not want. Sorry, I'm going, going to cut away the areas I do not want blurred. I'm gonna define edges, no blurry areas into the white, okay? I'm gonna open my flow to speed things up a little bit. And the point is, this is a lot faster, a lot quicker version of retouching. And I did see it affected a little bit of the jewelry over here. That's okay. Okay.
So because I've blurred, what do I need to do? I need to make sure I add grain back at the end, don't I? In this case, it's a spread. We're going to do it the down and dirty way. Okay. So I'm going to create a new layer, blank layer, put it on top. I'm going to fill, shift delete, opens up the fill, or you can go layer, or edit. I'm so used to the shortcuts, I don't remember. I'll, I'll figure it out for you in a second. So here's the gray layer. I'm going to add grain to it, filter noise, add noise, and I'm going to grain the whole darn spread. And I can do that because it is viewed smaller, much smaller. Whole darn spread gets done instead of just the skin. Overlay. Blending mode makes it disappear. So now it's made her skin and everything else have a layer of grain on it. Now let's do the texture action, right? Texture overlay. Let's add number 48. It's going to warm things up. It's one of my favorite. You guys are going to get it if you have the toolkit. And guys, this is the exact reason. I know much of you, you're all going, ah, oh, he's going so fast. I wish he wasn't going so fast right now. That's why we made the toolkit. Because we can't, we got it. It's a workshop setting. We want to take it to the next level. It's all part of that. There's hours of more content in there if you want to know exactly what we do and break it down into even larger Photoshop opportunities. Um, really learn every last part of this in your own time, in your own space, in your own home. Um, the transformational toolbox has that available to you. I'm going to blur it off her skin now. Mm -hmm. Filter blur, oh, select. select modify feather, and blur it away by filter blur, Gaussian blur. I'm right on the texture itself and it disappears but the tone remains. And finally we're going to finish this by adding a pop to it. Do you remember this, the diffuse glow layer? Grabbing all the layers, I could duplicate them all and then flatten them using command E. And we have a brand new layer on top. And I'm going to go Filter, Distort, Diffuse Glow. Notice that you know, we have two unique themes here, but the images have, every treatment is exactly the same. So it has continuity within two different themes. It's perfect. Do you see how it, before, before after, how it just makes things pop all together? So obviously it's too heavy right now. We've gone past the level where it's comfortable. We're going to pull it back slightly and then we're going to fine tune with a layer mask. Cutting a hole in that top layer by painting black on that layer mask onto areas that we don't want it to be affecting our album spread so much. 